couch where we catch up with your favorites both on and off the field. Now the 12th season of Varsity Cup is here and we are very honored to have the reigning champions, newly elected captain Johan Momsen on the couch. Johan, thanks for joining us. Thanks, pleasure to be here. How are you feeling? You're looking good in the maroon. Yeah, no, feeling, feeling fresh, uh, excited for the new season and uh, yeah, hoping for the best. Now that's the thing is you are the captain of the defending champions. How is that weighing on you? No extra weight really. Um, we don't feel any real, real pressure. It's it's a new team, uh, new idea, new season really. Uh, no real pressure from the previous previous season. We just take things game by game. Because the previous seasons have been tough. You've lost two finals and managed to bounce back and win that trophy. With Coach Harvey's in charge, what has he instilled in you guys that make you guys just come back every season and fight harder? That that that, that will for winning it. Uh, the really wanting to win it. Uh, I think players can really see how, how, how much he wants it and uh, sort of plays for him as well. But also being a squad that's been in two finals and there's been four or five players every year and not winning it, that the, 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 the want to win it just got bigger every year. Yeah, because what is has won it four times though, most in yeah. any team's history. So it's such, it's such a rich history, a lot of trophies. What are some of the traditions that you walked into when you joined the club? No real big standout traditions, but uh, the, the classic get into the change room before the game, uh, everyone chills, listens to music, and then there's a, a team talk, we listen to some music, we, we see uh, Peter makes us a, a hype video, you get pumped uh, up hype video. Uh, yeah, before the game. What, what are you guys? Like? About our game, the highlights of previous games, okay. and big hits, and uh, tries, and just gets you pumped up and excited for the game and then go onto the field, warm up and play. Uh, and through the week, the same routine really for the past five years I've been part of it and uh, just the same training routines, nothing really changed. Uh, so I think that's uh, the recipe for, for our success really. Now, obviously when I repeated this season, so looking at the squad, you say it's a bit of a new squad, how's it looking, the atmosphere feeling? From a starting lineup point of view, there's still 10 or 11 that took part in the final last year, so it's not really that new. Obviously, new young faces coming with uh, or joining the team, but very, very exciting. And very how exciting. Are they in with you guys? Oh, very good. Okay. Uh, yeah, perfect. No, it's no problem in the squad. Everyone's happy. Everyone's gelled, uh, and yeah, it's a very good squad actually. Okay, so you did captain the team during um, the Western Province League last year, but you also got your degree last year. What degree did you get and what's the plan for the next five years? I graduated in BCom Investment Management. Shoot! Sure. Yeah, so... Gotta make some money, eh? To, uh, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, plans for the next few years is after Varsity Cup and moving to Kimberley. What? Why? Yeah, I'm going to play some for Grikwas. Okay, congratulations. Yeah. Thanks. Are you excited about Very excited. Yeah, a new chapter in my life. Uh, in Kimberley? Yeah, in Kimberley. Very hot. And, uh, <laughs> Amongst other things. Yeah, very excited. Uh, I had to make the decision, am I going to go work or am I going to play some rugby? And I just thought I'm going to be, I might regret if I never gave myself the opportunity. So I'm going for it. So moving to Kimberley, you're going to leave the family behind. And it's very clear on your social media that you and your sister have quite... Uh -huh. Quite the bond. Um, how has she been supporting you? And is it a good bond, or is it just you know social no, media? No, no, no. It's a good bond. No, we have a good bond. Uh, we don't see as, each other as much anymore. She's working in Cape Town actually, so it's not that far, but it's just yeah. schedules just pass each other. And uh, but yeah, we have a special bond. But uh, her boyfriend is actually from the high up in Northern Cape, so I think it's we'll and see each it. other sometimes. So. Uh, I think it'll work out pretty well. Pretty well. So who threw around the Brickler um, comment first? You or your sister? DJ Brickler. Yeah. No, it's actually my cousin Altus who started that. Uh, when I was playing music on the system, he, he just said, yeah, DJ Brickler, because of my hair color, obviously. <laughs> and, uh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> no, and that just stuck around my sister. And, yeah, it was her nickname for me sometimes now. So. Oh, that's awesome. Well, Johan, so before you go, we have a little game we play, Just Be Honest. Only yes or no answers, so obviously no lying. Okay. Because you obviously are Martin, you don't like pay. Yeah. Okay. So, yes or no answers. Do you ever suck up to lecturers to get some extra marks, maybe somewhere no. down the line? Have you ever been rejected by someone you had a crush on? Yes. Okay. <laughs> 
Like, if it added up to age? No. Be honest. No. So, is the off school school comfortable? Oh. <laughs> it's a good rest, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you think you are your parents' favorite child? That's a hard one. Uh, let's go, yes. <laughs> he looks down in shame. You guys, thank you so much for joining us on the couch. Good luck with the Varsity Cup season. We can't wait to see you guys in action. It's always such a Gies tournament. And enjoy it. Thanks, Katua. Thanks. There you go, Johan, the captain of the Varsity team. He's catching in action during the Varsity Cup season with the Maroon Machine. Can they go all the way for their next title? Yeah, I have to see. Thanks for joining us on the